a one of the deep charge bootcamp and it was a q a with andrea and there were loads of loads of loads of questions been answered a lot of repeating answers as well so we're gonna make a a small section about that as well some stupid questions oh wait there are no stupid questions on the road yes there are but first we're gonna start with the top 10 most interesting questions and then we're gonna start with the least interesting to the most interesting so number 10 is going to be the most interesting question i think and afterwards we're gonna do three stupid uh no least smart questions never mind let's just start with question number one how can i tell if aggressive buying and selling has real intent so that we get a continuation or is it just a, a trigger spike like a stop work so andrea's answer to this was we check if the delta remains strong after the initial move and if the volume continues to push and if price keeps accepting the higher and lower level stop runs show one-off spikes with no follow-through real continuation shows sustained aggression let's go to number dos what is the difference between real liquidity and demo liquidity such as for firm liquidity and the answer to this was of course around 80 percent of retail traders are trading on a prop firm and most of those accounts are not live so they are in a demo environment these orders don't interact with the real order book so institutions don't even see that liquidity and because of that they can also not respond to it only real capital affects the order book question number tres i don't know why i'm talking Spanish. this is a very funny question because andrea is of course the right person to to ask this question to why do traders react to candles while order flow moves the real market and his answer to this was candles are the result of events that happened on the background so the buying and the selling in the auction so candle based trading requires confirmation and this is always delayed order flow shows you already the aggression before the candlestick closes and therefore can you jump in faster and make quicker decisions if the serious questions take too long just skip to the end of the video and see those uh questions question number uh, four why do for value gaps and order blocks often fail without real-time liquidity confirmation the level might look strong because of the for value gap order order block but without real buying or selling interest so actual orders the market has no reason to respect those levels because if there are no orders there are no orders order flow confirms if the level is a real for value gap or a real order block because you can look into the candlesticks and see if the orders are really there question number five what is absorption and how does deep charge shows you an iceberg order actually the word absorption says it itself there are big limit orders that absorbing the aggressive orders so aggressive orders are moving the markets and limit orders resting orders absorbing the aggression so the limit orders are too big for the aggression so that means the price needs to seek liquidity lower so that is absorption and now the iceberg order so deep charge analyzes the back end of the orders so maybe it's smart to first explain what the iceberg order is so an iceberg order is an order that looks in the book like just a normal order of let, let's say 100 contracts so a limit order of 100 contracts but all the time when the price enters we bounce from it and the amount stays the same so they are just filling it up, filling it up, filling it up because the big institutions want to buy or sell at that price. So how does Deep Charge see if it's an iceberg order or just separate orders? So Deep Charge analyzes the backend order flow. And because of that, you can discover which order IDs are the same. So if it's all the time the same participant that is filling up that order. And therefore you can see if it's an iceberg very cool technique actually oh. Whew. i thought my mic was off oh madre mia heart attack question number six six what technically happens during a stop so it's actually already in the name itself this happens when most of the time above a high or a low a lot of stop orders are resting and stop orders are market orders so aggressive buying or selling pressure they hit passive liquidity and the order book gets swept and then of course the price rapidly pumps or if it's of course down thumbs 
And of course, most of the time when all that liquidity is gone, then the price will seek the path of least resistance. And that is of course the other way around. So price snaps back. This is the absorption phase and not a fake breakout. Question number seven. Why do professional traders use order flow and most retail traders are using only candlesticks? Professional traders act on real time order data like the DOM, the footprint chart and very important volume aggression. Retail traders get taught most of the time only candlestick charts because maybe it's just easier to sell and to teach. And because of that, they are missing the driving force why the price is moving. Question number eight. Eight. What is the difference between chart-based liquidity and real liquidity inside the order book? Well, if you're trading, this one speaks for itself, I guess. But let's just see what Andrea says. So candlestick-based concepts like order blocks, fair value gaps, highs and lows assume where the liquidity might be. It's actually guesswork. And order flow shows you where it actually is. It's actually so insane that I didn't know about this all my trading career. Live limit orders, absorption, and on the heat map, you can literally see liquidity. Market movement is based on real liquidity, not on some kind of pattern that is happening on a candlestick chart. Market reaction is based on real liquidity, not on some type of candlestick pattern. Question number nine, are banks and smart money really hunting my stop loss? Actually, the answer of question number two is giving an answer to that. Because as we said, 90% of retail traders are using a prop firm account. And those orders, they don't count in the real order book. And beside that, it's proven that only 5% of the whole volume in the market is retail trading. So do you really think smart money and institutions, they are chasing that 5% of liquidity? It just feels like this because often those stop orders that are getting triggered, they build them up at places of high liquidities. So of course, above highs and under lows. So actually your stop loss is just in a position where something else is happening. Question number 10. And that is not the last one because we have some funny other questions. Why can't you tell from a candlestick chart if it's a real breakout or just a stop run? A candlestick only shows price movement not what caused that movement. With order flow, you can really see if there's aggressive interest or if it's just a cluster of stops being triggered. Without order flow, you are reacting to something. But with order flow, you anticipate and can be fast. Let's now look at three questions that were asked all the time. I'm getting so tired from these people. I'm joking, I'm joking. Not, haha. <laughs> It just always feels like people are just jumping in and out of a session like that and just jump in and ask the same question. Annoying question number one. Is this the VIP chat? This question was literally asked multiple times in the VIP chat itself. So Andrea's answer to this was, yes, bro, if you can type in the VIP chat, then you are already in the VIP chat. Annoying question number two. Will this be recorded? Hello, will this be recorded? Will this be recorded? Will this be recorded? I think this, this question was asked maybe more than 50 times at least. And of course, everything gets recorded and uploaded in the Deep Charge dashboard. And then question number three, I think this was actually the best question in the whole session. Will this software make me a millionaire? Is he idiot? And there was literally someone else also asked, can I use Deep Charge to become rich? And the answer of Andrea was, no, it's a tool. It's a Natamani printer. Of course, you still have to learn how to use it. From tomorrow, Fabio is going to do his first session. It's going to be super interesting. So if you don't want to miss what's in there, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.